What's good? We got a helicopter overhead. Get to the chopper now! Chicago is one of the world's great food cities, and on this channel, we got you covered with the best ethnic cuisine, cheap eats, and now amazing date spots. What's good, YouTube? It's Louis Gusto. Welcome back to Chicago. We're gonna take you through 24 hours of eating, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and so much more. We're not talking cheap eats today. You're not gonna wanna miss a second of this food tour. In Chicago's Lincoln Park neighborhood, even Abe agrees, this is gonna be the best food tour you've ever seen in your entire life. So finesse that like button and let's start eating. We're gonna kick off this Lincoln Park food tour with a breakfast stop at Summer House Santa Monica. It may be 16 degrees, but we're gonna be inside where it's California vibes all day, bro. It's only 103 days till summer. Thankfully, it's a super sunny day. You would never be able to tell that it's 16 degrees outside. We started off with the cinnamon roll and a couple of coffees from La Colombe Roasters. Nerissa ordered the crispy strawberry waffles. It's a big old fat waffle with some whipped cream. I ordered from the Cali Max menu, bro. Got myself a breakfast burrito, dog. It looks amazing. It's a big fat burrito, scrambled eggs in there. You got your choice of sausage, bacon, or avocado. I went with avocado and I got uh, hash brown on the side. I'm armed with my coffee. It's kicking in. Beautiful decor here. Let's dig into this burrito. Check this out. Look at those layers. Burrito is just stuffed to the max. Wow, avocado is fresh, the perfect breakfast food. Chicago is the best place to be when we're talking about food. I am psyched to be eating these crispy strawberry waffles, but I'm gonna have to get this ice cream looking whipped cream right here. That is an airy waffle. Can you describe a waffle as airy? I just did. And I don't want to eat the berries with the waffles. I want to eat it separately. Is that bad? Summer House Santa Monica is such a fun place. I am loving these California vibes. It's really perfect right now. This place makes you forget about the fact that it is frozen outside. Sitting here, sipping my coffee. All the natural sunlight that's coming through the glass roof is giving me life. Lewis is enjoying his burrito behind the scenes right now. These waffles, I love them. Beautiful presentation. Our waiter convinced us to get this cinnamon roll. He was talking all about how their pastry team is super talented. So delicious. Bunch of sugary and cinnamony goodness. That was such an incredible breakfast. The burrito, the cinnamon roll, and the waffles. Great start to the day. Chicago has a million and one options when it comes to Italian cuisine, but for me, Casati's is near the top. They've been here since 2018 and they're already establishing themselves as a gem of Lincoln Park. Located right at the busy intersection of Fullerton and Clark, they're run by a husband and wife duo. The husband actually is from Florence, Italy, so that's what you can expect in the cuisine is those Florentine traditions. And Casati's is all about light, fresh, modern, and healthy options when it comes to Italian food, similar to what you're gonna find when you actually travel to Italy. Not always about that heavy lasagna, that heavy pizza, Speaking of pizza, we did order the prosciutto pizza. They claim to have the healthiest pizza in Chicago. We also ordered a clam linguine, tricolor salad. There's radicchio, endives, baby arugula, parmesan, and some balsamic. Let's go. It's really great to get a salad with your lunch, especially when you got pizza on the way. And it doesn't hurt that the salad is beautiful to look at. <laughs> This is the prosciutto pizza. There's burrata, mozzarella, of course prosciutto, and some arugula on here. It looks amazingly delicious. Nice light crust. Let's dig right into this. That's good. We had to get some pasta to go with our pizza. This smells so delicious. Typically we come here and we get their ravioli. We've had their short rib ravioli. We've had their lobster ravioli, which we absolutely love. That's my personal favorite. We got the lamb linguine, which we haven't actually tried before. When you think of having pasta to eat when you're going out, you often think about having like spaghetti and meatballs. That's like a classic dish, right? This is a little bit more upscale, a little bit more adventurous maybe you would say. To cap off our amazing meal at Casari's, we got some house-made limoncello. Salud. Salud. 
Ludlow Charlington's is Lincoln Park's newest coffee house. It's also in the running for best name coffee shop anywhere. And this is a speakeasy dog themed coffee shop. Great lighting, paintings of various dogs up for adoption, dressed in Renaissance costumes. They also have some great merch here and 50% of the proceeds go to local dog shelters. Of course, it's all about the coffee, right? We got ourselves a couple of lattes. I got a regular latte. Even Rowdy got himself a little dog biscuit and he cannot wait to eat this as you can see. This is a latte with oat milk. Salute. Such a nice warm drink on a very, very cold day in Chicago. We were so hyped when Ludlow Charlington's opened. The most exciting thing to me about this place was that Rowdy can come here too. He's already met a new friend. They wanted to play forever, but we got coffee to drink. I got myself a lavender latte. Rowdy is enjoying the vibe. He's actually wondering if he could meet any of these dogs in the paintings. He also wants to know where they got their outfits from. So far today, we have had a Californian breakfast, an Italian lunch, incredible coffee, but now it's time for some French cuisine at a classic French bistro, Mon Ami Gavi. And they do have a handful of worldwide locations, but this is the original right here in Lincoln Park. We are kicking off this incredible evening with onion soup au gratin. We split it into two so that we didn't have a gigantic bowl of onion soup just sitting in the middle of the table. We also got a French baguette with a carrot amuse-bouche and some butter, of course. For our mains, we got the pot of mussels marinere with frites, yeah. And we got a steak Bernays, also with frites. Let's enjoy the streets of Paris in this incredible classic French bistro. By the way, if you love food tours just like this, let us know what neighborhood we should visit next. Make sure you subscribe. It's so nice to be back at Mon Ami Gabi. I love French food and it kind of takes me back to like times when visiting Paris. I can't wait to try this onion soup. They melt cheese all over the top. It's super hot, but it is freaking amazing. The very first time I had a real, true, authentic French onion soup was in Paris. It was my first trip there. I went to this little hole in the wall bistro. I don't remember the name. I don't remember where I was. All I remember is it was an incredible onion soup and that memory stays with me. So I'm really hoping this is gonna like bring some nostalgia to the evening. Check out this cheese pool. Got a lot of cheese, Gruyere cheese. A thick piece of bread on the top. Obviously a ton of onions. It really is a phenomenal combination of the cheese and the onions. A great way to start off any French meal. They've got about four steak frites on the menu. Essentially they only vary by the type of sauce that you get with it. I really like my steaks medium rare, but it's a personal choice. Just don't get it well done, okay? Dip it in the Bernays sauce instead of pouring it over and just dive right in. I think having the frites on the side is a great touch. That is such a classic combo. In the future, we are gonna be doing Paris neighborhood guides, so let us know in the comments what neighborhood in Paris you'd like us to cover first. This is the pot of mussels marinière. It's got leek, garlic, butter, onion, white wine. It's another classic French dish, and actually I've had it in Paris before. I love mussels. Earlier we got clams, so you could tell we love seafood. It comes with a side of frites, and a little quick tip, I actually like to dip pieces of baguettes in into the broth that it's cooked in. I already broke a shell. <laughs> they leave the top of this pot for you so that you can collect shells in. And just like that, I'm using the little fork to help scrape out the mussel. I wanna dip it into the broth. It's like really far down there, but it's so worth it when you get it. If you actually have an empty shell too, I like to use it as kind of like a little spoon. <laughs> That is the flavor I come here for. I like the pieces of onions in there. You can taste the white wine. Mussels can be a little complicated to eat, but it's so worth it. I do recommend getting reservation because this place is always busy. They have a nice little bar here where you can enjoy drinks. You can come here on a date night for fun with friends. It's so nice to be able to experience a little bit of France here in Chicago. Lincoln Park has so many dining options. It was actually tough to whittle it down for a 24 hour food tour. But when it comes to upscale cocktail lounges, surprisingly, there aren't that many in Lincoln Park. So I'm happy we were able to find Love Street right here on Wrightwood and Bruce Wayne Avenue. Basically, they got a whole retro vintage Hollywood vibe in here. Playing some club music, dimly lit, but it's really, really solid decor. It's a great date spot. You can get good, imaginative, and great tasting cocktails. It's always a good sign when you don't taste the alcohol, but you're in a, like a 
more upscale type of vibe. We've been eating all day on this food tour. So basically this is our dessert. We started off with a Mai Tai and Pink Lady. The Mai Tai has a couple of different types of rum in it and some curacao, probably some other stuff. I'm not a bartender, so I'm, I couldn't tell you everything that's in it. Salud. For the second round, we went with the Spanish Caravan. I just couldn't resist the name. It's just too good, right? Spanish Caravan. This has Bonanto, bourbon, lime, ginger, strawberry, and a couple other things. Again, I'm not a bartender, but I do know that Love Street is a perfect way to end your 24-hour adventure in Lincoln Park, Chicago. Salud, peace, and blessings.